you want to talk about an absolute clinic and just a mat, you should put that on a technique DVD right there, what Anthony <laughs> Ashnall did. The initial takedown and everything he did on top, that's exactly what you want to do on top. And that's pretty much as easy as, easy as it gets for Anthony Ashnall. 157 pounds, second ranked wrestler in the nation, Tyler Berger, senior out of Prineville, Oregon, 17 and two for Nebraska. Three-time NCAA qualifier, All-American, 105 career wins, seven major decisions. Going up against 17th ranked John Van Brill out of Clearview High School in South Jersey, 14 and eight, last year 22 and 14. He's got 68 career wins, two-time NCAA qualifier. This is one of the better matches of the night on paper. Two top 20 wrestlers. Yeah, Berger on a new level this season, right number two in the country. He had a, he had a close loss to, yeah, well, I should say, a tough match to against Jason Nolf from Penn State. It's pretty much the only guy who's standing in his way right now of that national title, even though Nolf is on a different level compared to everybody else. But Berger did a lot in the offseason, was able to just become one of the best wrestlers in the country, pound for pound, the way he's been at 157 this year. And Van Brill and him have history. Van Brill 0 3 against him lifetime including that sudden victory loss last season in the dual meet at Nebraska, but he also lost him at the Big Ten tournament. Van Brill has always just been right on the doorstep of knocking off Berger. He's, he's yet to come through and actually knock him off. And Berger with those two quick points. He's up 2-0. Just a little over a minute gone by in period one. In our fifth bout of the night, Rutgers leads 9-8. But Berger... Big threat to put the Cornhuskers up at the intermission. Maybe we've got to be careful here. We have Berger in deep with the legs. We know Van Brill loves to scramble, so we can just grab one of those ankles and try to try to roll through here. Might be able to get out of it. Potentially dangerous. Nebraska leads this all-time series four to one last year. Nebraska won 19-13 over the Scarlet Knights. Last time the Cornhuskers were here at the rack, December 2015, and Rutgers won that match 17-16 by criteria. Yeah, that was one of the bigger upsets in school history for, or excuse me, program history for Coach Goodale and company. Highlighted that day when Nick Gravina was healthy, knocked off then number four, T.J. Dudley. Perennial All-American for Nebraska. And Berger, I mean, Berger, as I mentioned before, Lou, how good he is this year. He's only, he only has two losses, and the one loss, you can kind of almost throw out the window going up against Griffin Patriot at Purdue. And lost the sudden victory, and of course, lost to Jason Nolf, 10-4. You hear the crowd yelling as Van Brill's arm was his hand was nearly near, near his neck, and they wanted potentially dangerous on that. And actually, a good job by Van Brill to get out for one and avoid any back points. And he does get the point for the escape. It's two to one. Van Brill going for a takedown there, but Berger able to escape. And there's two points for Berger. He goes up four to one. He's way up on riding time. And if you're a fan, bro, that's not, what you, that's not what you wanted to give up right there at the end of the period. You just got out for one. You avoided back points, only down two to one. Then you give up a takedown with less than five seconds to go in that first period. Now you're in a three-point hole. Not what you want to do. And Van Brill has said the past couple weeks that one thing he has to get better on is get better on his feet. He gives up takedowns sometimes a little too easily. I you know he loves to go into the scramble situations and make his opponents uncomfortable. If you're Van Brill, got to be a little smarter there. Cannot give up two points right at the buzzer. Second period begins with second ranked Tyler Berger on top four to one. Rimble's gotta be careful here, he's out of position. A nice job following, he didn't give it up yet. And Berger gets the point. You see how quick Berger is on those re-attacks as Van Brill was just still hanging on near the head and Berger went right down low for that open leg for Van Brill. And they're gonna scramble now. Van Brill doing a nice job hanging on to that ankle. Not giving up two points yet. But he's not in a good position right now. 
Yeah, stalemate called with a minute 15 left in the second. Five to one in favor of Tyler Berger. Looking to put his team up on top heading into the intermission. On paper, in the second half of tonight's match, Nebraska has a tremendous advantage. But, but hey, this is why we we'll wrestle. What happens. <laughs> this is why you play the game, this is why you wrestle. You have to actually go out there and do it. Nebraska does have the advantage on paper, but one match, you're gonna look, one match that's going to be really nice to, to watch is what the young Stefan Glasgow can do against Isaiah White. Two very athletic wrestlers, to say the least. Cornhuskers will throw five ranked wrestlers out there in the last five bouts. Yeah, it's the quote-unquote death part of their lineup, and it pretty, it pretty much starts right here with Berger, and then you go up all the way up to heavyweight. Every, everybody's an All-American contender. Twenty seconds left. Period two comes to an end. Tyler Berger on top by the score of five to one. Interesting choice here from Van Brogel on top. At least we're going to cut into the riding time. I mean, at this point, you have to believe that Van Brogel thinks he can get some tilts on Berger. You don't want to get stuck on bottom with Berger going after you. For Berger, goes up 6 1. Good re attacks here from Van Brill. Obviously, Berger, a nice scrambler, but you see Van Brill staying aggressive, staying on his toes, able to lunge at those legs of Berger. He's got the double leg at the moment, only a single leg now. He's got to keep driving forward, Berger. It's just great defense. Hit, under. Right on clear, right on clear. Van Brill loves to be, loves to be in this scramble situation. He's down that almost full split. Berger putting a lot of pressure on that leg right now. Van Brill doing a nice job avoiding the takedown. Now he'll go over top and try to get these ankles. Stalemate call. They'll restart with 56 seconds left in the period. And Tyler Berger up 6-1. to one. For it. Good shot there. See if he can finish. Pick it up, Dad, up at the knee. Pick it in that there. space, he got right Pick underneath the there. arms. But see, there. Berger's defense is absolutely tremendous. If he get that leg over, lift that up hard. Still has it. Yeah, there's two. So Van Brill down six to three. He's gonna need a quick tilt here. And Berger doing a nice job hanging on to that leg, and he might hang out for the victory here. Van Brill might come up a little bit short. Van Brill gave it his best shot at the end, but Berger will win it. And with the riding time, he wins it seven to three. Well, gotta give Van Brill some credit. He went for it at the end. Yeah, he kept fighting. I mean, Berger's defense is absolutely fantastic, and the, the opening sequence in the first period didn't help Van Brill's case, but again, it's just another one of those matches between these two wrestlers where uh, I know Van Brill now 0-4 against him lifetime, but he just seems he's always right there.